Andy, welcome back to Darton Football Club. We're here as goalkeeping coach. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to be back actually. Yeah, obviously I had uh, a, a nice part in my career here uh, playing and then I started my coaching career here. So it's, um, yeah, it's really nice to be back. That's one of the reasons I came. Obviously I got a phone call off Tommy and um, I did enjoy my time. I think the stage I'm at now with my coaching career and work, business, etc., I can sort of... I'm in a position where I can pick and choose and uh, this, when I got the phone call, it, yeah, it really interests me, so I'm, I'm glad to be here. You've known Tommy and you've known Alan White, the assistant manager, for quite a lot of years, haven't you? I have, yeah. I mean, Alan was a, an apprentice with me at uh, Middlesbrough years ago, obviously, um, and Tommy was here um, at the first part. When I retired, I think Tommy just came in as a player and uh, and, and uh, he was a centre-forward then, so... Yeah, obviously, I, I always got on well with him, even though that was one of the coaches. I, I like to have a bit crack around the lads. And like I said, when um, when I did speak to uh, Alan and Tommy over the summer, I thought, you know, they sound, seemed like two young, up-and-coming sort of managers that I would enjoy working with, which is why I'm here. And you've had plenty of experience around the clubs as well. You've been at Gateshead and you've been at York. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've been around all the North East clubs, to be fair. Um yeah, York, I, I did enjoy my time at York. Again, it depends who you're working with. I think, you know, managers come and managers go, and sometimes as a staff member you go as well. Um, and, um, yeah, it's got me into work and it's got me out of work. I think uh, York as a club is a good club, um, and I did enjoy it, and then things change. Um, and I haven't been, uh, I've been out of work. Um, I've had a couple of offers. I did go up to Gateshead and had a season there. Uh, again, I th- found that a little bit frustrating. I wasn't in there as much as I would have liked, and um, yeah, just things. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was all all on the CV and all part of learning as a coach. You know, you're still always learning. And um, but uh, the main thing is that I'm here now and uh, hopefully I'll have, a, have a, a positive impact on the goalkeepers at the club. The fans will have fond memories of you as a player. Uh, one one favourite memory of me in particular is when you played Hartlepool single-handed at Feedhams. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I mean, obviously, it's nice that people remember you. I mean, they remember me pretty much for that that one game. Um, but, yeah, I did play another 140 games for the club. Some good, some not so good. Um, but, uh, no, I did. I had, I had a great time here. Um, like I said, which is why I, I am, I've always looked out for Darlington results. I live quite local. Um, so, yeah, when I when I did get the phone call, I thought, you know what, I do. I fancy going back and um, and giving it a go and seeing, seeing if we can uh, play a part in uh, Darlington, you know, pushing up through the, the divisions again. You've met some of the lads this morning uh, at training and you've also come across one or two before in the past anyway. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, I think uh, Stash, I knew Stash. Um, when he was at Gateshead uh, he was there for a period and Steve Thompson came in uh, when I was actually working at Hartlepool and I think we were going to offer uh, him a contract actually and he ended up signing for Darlington and obviously he's gone on to do really really well for the club um, so yeah I know, know some of the boys I think the main thing like I said I wanted to get in and around the boys again um, you know just in and around the banter of the lads and the, 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 it keeps you young you know, I'm, obviously I feel young, but it does keep young being in the change room with a lot of young lads having a big crack. And, and like I said, the two, um, the, the members of staff are similar. You know, similar to me, I think there's a time for work. Get out on the training pitch, do your work, and then there's a time for fun, you know, relax and having a bit of uh, crack. And I think it makes a, uh, a healthy environment if it's like that. If it's always too serious, it's not for me. I've, I've had a couple of managers where they've sort of been like that and... And it's just not an environment I like to work in. I like to relax and enjoy what you're doing. And I think it'll show on the training pitch and that'll show in the players' performance. So um, this hopefully will be uh, that, that type of that type of environment. It seems to be anywhere from the conversations that I've had with Tommy and a more modern, modern way of coaching, I suppose, you know. Relax, take the pressure off a little bit. And uh, and you do you see it reap rewards on the training pitch on the or on the on the pitch on a Saturday? And let's hope as well it's a successful Darlow season. Exactly, yeah. You know that's why I'm here. Um, hopefully, you know my job is to make sure that the goalkeeper performs well. Um, I know the goalkeeper that was here last year. Like I said, I, I've always looked out who's at the club. I know, obviously Bartlett left a uh, very good goalkeeper at this division. Went to York, um, and then they brought Pears in, and and uh, obviously I was at Middlesbrough with Stephen Pears as a young kid. I came through with Stephen Pears and. 
and um, obviously his son is very highly rated and from everyone that I've spoke to and the reports that I was seeing about him um, he, he did really really well for the club so hopefully you know um, the goalkeepers can can have a similar season and uh, and if if your goalkeepers do well um, hopefully you know we'll we'll be up the top end of the top end of the division come uh, come May.